Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is your brother Simon of Ververy, and well, welcome back to the Sam of Somalia channel. Once again, we're going to do another Somali breakdown. Um, you know, the other week I did my first ever Somali breakdown, we did episode one of the Somali breakdowns. We just took an article that I found from the BBC, and um, BBC Somali of course, and we just learned some new grammar from it, we learned some new vocab, and that one was about Ozil um, Isaga Asile, that he had, resi that he had resigned from the, from the national team. And um, so in this video, we're going to go over something difficult. It's political you know last time we did a sports fit we did a sports article it's something political and it's actually about isis um it's a very very brief little topic that we're going to go over i shouldn't have to but obviously obviously people for some reason muslims have to for some reason but the disclaimer that we do not support isis we have no sympathy for isis we do not support them in any way whatsoever and we're not part of them and we're free from them um so i just put that disclaimer just to make sure that everybody knows that if they see the word isis in a video then they associate it with things unfortunately i have to do disclaimers like that but anyway before we digress. So basically, we're just going to be analysing the language, the Somali language in this. And there's about 10 new words that I think will be new to most of you. And um, and just some other really useful vocab and grammar that we'll learn as well. So I'm going to bring you guys into my computer. We're going to have a look at the actual article and um, we're going to break it down together, inshallah. So I'll see you on the inside. So hello, guys. Um, welcome to the computer once again. Welcome to inside the computer. We've got a nice sort of stock image here of what you'd expect a um, a, a, a Daesh uh, fighter to look like. So um, what we'll do is we'll break down the vocabulary inshallah just because I found some really interesting stuff in here. We have my favourite bit of vocab here, some that I really like. Lawadag, share. Um, if you haven't shared any of my videos yet, make sure you do a bit of lawadag on my channel. So um, cool, so what we have here is um, the word falanqain. Falanqain. This is a verb. Falanqain means to analyse something. How do you spell it in English, Anna? Analyze, I think it's like that. Analyze, um, like in, you, you can even say like one if you, if you want to say I am analyzing something, um, yeah, w w whatever it is, right? Um, yeah, one falankainaya. I'm I'm analyzing something. So this is an analysis. This word, the reason why I chose this is because on my Instagram story ages ago, I, I asked you guys if I could pronounce this word properly because it's really hard. Dakdakak is this word. Dakdakak. Is what we have here. So dakdakak means movement, um, but not movement as in like if you're moving around somewhere you're on the dance floor. Dakdakak um, is is like a political movement. So it's like the the move. It's like an analysis of the movement. Daesh. This is how in Somali you spell Daesh. Um, those of you who don't know, I'll just do a little breakdown over here. The word Daesh um, is an Arabic word. Um, is an Arabic word. Uh, spelled like this, uh, Daesh, um, and it's it's for is right. It's you know it's 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 an abbreviation. It's an Arabic abbreviation for what we in English call is or we call ISIL or whatever. But Daesh stands for Dawla al Islamiya fi Iraq wa Sham. So Da is for Dawla, meaning the state. The Alif is for Islamiya, the Islamic state. Of of Ain for Iraq and Sheen for Sham. So the Islamic State of Iraq and Sham. Sham meaning, you know, the Sham area, Jordan, Syria, um, Lebanon, Palestine. So um so that's what Daesh is for those of you who didn't know. That's that's where the that's where it comes from. So okay, so it's an analysis of the Daqdaqayada Daesh of the of the of the movement of the Daesh movement as Somalia. So so this air here, this literally means in. Um, you can say air eh to, to to mean in, and we see it further late, later later in the article as well to to mean in. So um, yeah, it's an it's analysis of the daqdaqaq, the 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 Daesh movement in Somalia. Good. Okay, so we come we here we see kohda. We saw the word koh last week. A koh. Uh, we saw it in the context last week to mean like a team or a or a group of players, but it doesn't just mean a group. Yeah. So this is the koh daulada islamiga. So this is literally the Islamic State. Yeah, Dawladda. It's the same as the word Dawla that I talked about in Arabic. Islamiga. Yeah, so the, the, the Islamic State group. Here's a nice little interesting bit here. So, O la yaqana is amadash. So, um, so it's who, who are known as. Yeah, who are known as. The verb yaqan um, is, um, yeah, it's a term meaning to know something. It's a verb to know something. Um, Amma is the word for saying or. Um, yeah, Amma Daesh. They're known as IS or Daesh. Um, Aya sila dare mi karo. Um, nice. So, um, so this, this dare mi, th this what's going on here is, is the use of an auxiliary verb karo. 
um, meaning to be able to. So, and then this la is something that makes something passive. You know, you can, um, if you say like, la it's like saying one is, one is good. Um, you know, so it makes something passive really. And then, then this daremi means to, to feel. So that like they were able to feel. Um, they were able to feel. Um, a bill is a month. So bilihi la so da fight. Um, okay, yeah, so la so da fight is an expression to mean like the, the recent or like or like lately. So uh, just the word bil itself, by the way, bil here is, is a month. So it's like the, the recent months. They were able to feel in the recent months. Um, this, um, yeah, a means that they like, can increased. Uh, where are rather, where are rather is, um, I think it's a tax. Um, yeah, where are rather are a tax. Aka gay um, yeah, so the, the there was an increase. A gor, yeah, coordinate where are rather aka gays ten that the, the there was an increase in the attacks um that they they grew right yeah like a yeah kagaisa ten i suppose as as if it's saying there's an increase and they grew it's sort of more emphasis um somalia so there's like an increase in attacks in in somalia um kadib khasarihi so khasar perhaps is shared with Arabic, you know, a a khusr, um, as in is in Surah Al Asr, when Allah says Inna al-insan la fi khusr. This khusr means a loss. So kadib khasarihi that there have been losses to the to the kohda kasoga right. Um, yeah, there have been great losses to to the group. Um, yeah, that yeah, there have been great losses to the group. That's what that's what it is. Yeah, khasar I suppose is a loss. Khasari he is like the the losses. Um Kadib the, the the term like Kadib is usually for things that have sort of um um which way around is it? Kadib is things that are coming, right? It's things that are following. Kadib. So following so following some, some great losses to the group. Uh Kaso Gara is like following some losses that the group have kind of incurred. Um Halka uh Hudunta so here again we see this a to mean in so it's in guess Surya Iraq you know this is how in Somali you spell Surya and Iraq um yes yeah, Syria and Iraq yeah so it's um so what is this yeah so um yeah so 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 following following an increase in attacks in Somalia after the after their sort of significant losses that they that they suffered or incurred in Syria and Iraq, obviously we know that there's a huge decline in in Daesh or IS in in Syria and Iraq, and and this is what this article is talking about. Um, so what do we see now? Dabayak dabayak da sanat ki hore. So dabayak da is like at the end. Dabay dabayak da at the end of. Sanat kihore, sanat kihore. So if you ever say kihore, that's like the way of saying last. If you say, um, I don't know if you can maybe say bil bil kihore, bil kihore. That means like last month. If you use this word bil up here that we talked about earlier, bil kihore. That means like um, hore. I think I learned it to to put a stress on that a as well. Kihore, um, last month. So it's at the end the dabayakada. Sanad Kihore at the end of last year. You know, so the whole the, the, the whole of this paragraph here, this bit that we're analysing together here, um, this is all, you know, th th this is all just talking about that essentially. It's talking about there being, um, you know, there being there being an, an in increase in attacks due to them having their um khasari here, their their losses, the losses to the Koh, um, the losses to their group, um, you know, that that occurred that occurred ahaid that was a Surya Iraq in Syria and Iraq. Dabayak the Sanat Kihore at the end of last year. Good. Okay, so some some cool vocab that I took away from this that I really that I really like. Um so um Falan I think is a good word. 
to know. That's that's definitely on my vocab vocabulary for this week. I'm trying to think of phrases for me to use the word falanqain. Um Yeah. Um, I, I I thought of saying something like um nidam ka, like the system. How would you say like an education system? Wah wah barasho or something education is. Nidam ka wah barashada. I think it is. Uh, one falanqaina. Yeah, I'm 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 analyzing the education system or something like that. Um. Yeah, wa falanqaina. I'm analyzing. Daq daqaq is a movement I think is really useful. Um so we've got an analysis or analyzing. We've got the word for a movement. A kah is a group which is really useful. Um what else? Where where are rada to mean attacks is obviously something useful to know in political, you know, political texts and stuff. Um khasarihi to mean losses. Um yeah, and all that bit at the bottom, I think, is really useful too. At the end of. At the, at the end of last year. So those are some really useful things I think you should take away from this lesson, inshallah. That's everything for this lesson. I pray that you guys enjoyed it. And I pray that you come back for more, inshallah. And I, and I also pray that you like and that you like and share it if you liked it, and if you'd like to share it. And um, that's everything. If you have any other questions, just stick them in the comments below, inshallah. And I'll try my very, very best to personally get back to you. If I don't, then you have a much greater chance of getting in touch with me on Instagram. Go over to Instagram and follow me, at Sam of Somalia. And drop me a DM, just let me know that you watched, let me know that you enjoyed it, or that you didn't enjoy it, or any of the feedback you'd like to give me, or any of the stuff you'd like to chat about. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next Somali breakdown next week. I'll catch you guys then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.